Hey, what's up everyone? Just gonna go over my Apex accounts and where I'm at with them. Um, gonna share some conversations that I've had with my members in the Discord. We've had some good combos. Um, but yeah, let's get to the accounts here. You can see, got 16 accounts on the Rhythmic and most of them are in the positive. This one's 400, 200, 200, 200, 500. This one's a little bit red. Uh, what, 5,100, 50,669, 740. This one's over the safety, getting payout on that soon. This one's really close to getting to the safety and getting another payout. And this one is over the safety, so that's two. Gonna get a payout, and you can see it's 3,200. This one is eh, pretty close, about, you know, a couple, uh, 1,500 bucks or so away. 53,000, 153. Another 150K account. I have about, um, 12, 2,000 or so. This one is over the safety as well. So we got three payouts secured, 6K coming. And this one right here for about 1,500. It's also pretty close, about 1,000 bucks away. So we're doing pretty good. Um, mostly red days and, I mean, <laughs> mostly green days but i have had some red days but i have the gat guardian angel trader was turned on to it by nutty bar trader shouts out to nutty um you can see my red days i have it set on all my 50k accounts to be 1200 dollars and for some reason the guardian angel trader will stop you out just a little bit before probably because of fees and commissions but I bounce back each time I have a red day, and it's for the better. It's really uh, helped me out. No more blowing up in one day. I have had some people say, Guardian Trader, Guardian Angel Trader, my ass, and it doesn't work. And you could just go set the stuff back in the rhythmic, but most people will just say they will do it, but they don't do it. But I got, I paid the 300 bucks or whatever it was for the software, and I can honestly say that it has gave me I have got my money back for what I have put into it so yeah I have a red day I haven't even had a red day on my 150k accounts uh, and if I don't think I really have uh, if I did it wasn't too big of a deal I don't think because I have it set to 2200 so you can see there's no 2200 red days but yeah I've had some really good combos here we'll share some stuff here in the discord um, someone in the discord, we're talking about the benefits of props. So markets don't care, care whether you're on prop or personal. It's just prop accounts are far less risky. I put up 150 bucks to get access to 10 minis, right? <laughs> Which I don't use, but maybe three at the most. And that's what I have my guardian angel trader set to. I cannot trade more than three so i can't go crazy averaging down four five six eight ten minis i have it set to three and that seems to be the sweet spot <clears throat> for me uh and if i have a red day like i showed you earlier i had some red days what i do is i go on my guardian angel trader and i go to those red day accounts and before i start trading on the next day i will set uh, a new limit for myself on how much size I can trade. So I'll put it to either two minis or one. And um, yeah, so uh, yeah, this is just a, a, we're having a little discussion here on this uh, combo about personal versus uh, funded. Um, yeah, so uh, you had, had a little story here, a little story time. 
Uh, I remember during the COVID crash, I thought I was a trading god because I kept shorting the ES all the way down and I made like, I don't know, it was like five, six thousand dollars on personal and I was pumped, not even thinking, not even thinking of the risk just because I felt like I just, there was no way I could lose money. I just kept making money, kept winning trade after winning trade, winning trade. So I started to put bigger size on because I had more leverage on the personal. Every time you went up on your personal account, you could trade a bigger size. And I kept doing that. And then it backfired on me. So uh, I remember it was the COVID crash. We had a noticeable bull pop, which was just a bear you know, pullback, right? It just started popping up. And I was like, okay, well, we'll just keep fading this thing. It's going to go back down. And I just kept putting on bigger size to try to short it. And I took some losses and the bear started taking profit and the bulls came in. They were rallying it up for, for a, not even that long, really. But I ended up losing all my $5,000 and then some. And this is what made me really go back to uh, proper counts because yeah, I was I eventually went back down. I couldn't absorb the pullback after those losses. And uh, this account really, uh, I didn't put that much in it, but I grew it. And it took me you know, weeks to kind of get it to a good place where I can put on some size and make a few grand here and there. But I remember I was telling my wife, yeah, we're going to be shopping. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. I freaking, this thing is so easy. It just all I did hit the short button. And, uh, next thing you know, I go back uh, to my computer and I start trading some more and then I lost it all and then she's like man you're no good at this I thought I thought you said this was easy I thought you had your risk under control and I was like what risk I thought it was easy to I was shorting the obvious crash here but it's just one little little pullback in a, a bull a bear day that I couldn't uh, I couldn't hold through it so yeah I, I got I was overconfident, thinking, ah, I'll just hold, I'll hold, right? And then all of a sudden, I'm in the red, and then it, 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 I lost all my money. So I came back to top step, and then I ran my top step up after, you know, a few resets here and there, and I had a, I got the pro account back then, you get it to $5,000, and I ran it up to 10000 and twenty. And then I didn't even take any payouts. So, yeah, that was really painful. But I learned my lesson there. Take some payouts. Pay yourself along the way. And that's what I plan on doing with my Apex accounts. Like I was showing you there. Um, so I got three over the safety net. And a couple more that are really close. And, yeah, so we're going to be paying ourselves with that. Um, you see. Going to be paying myself at least three accounts. Um... Four, and then the 150k is pretty close maybe we might get a 10k payout and I don't have 20 accounts so if I get you know 6k a, a 6k account a 6k payout sorry it was nice right but if I can get an 8k or a 10k payout which I've done in the past you can see some of my older videos I had 10k payout I had 12k payout I've had 8k payout multiple times I haven't had one of those 20k payouts like Ape uh, Alpine or some of my other uh, um, trading buddies have, and I've I've known some people to even get the full 20 accounts to pay out and get a 40k payout. I haven't done that yet, but maybe here in the future that is the plan. And I was sharing some of that here in the Discord. Some of my plans. Um, where was it at? You know, some people were saying, oh, the GAT, you could just, uh, you know, put the, the daily loss limit in the back. And it's the same thing as Guardian Angel Trader. But really, there's a lot more you can do with the Guardian Angel Trader that I really like. Um, so you can time put a time limit. Let's say you take a $500 loser. You can put a 10-minute break on yourself just to clear your head because that used to be a real problem with me where I would just take a loss and I'd be frustrated and I'd be immediately, immediately right back into another losing trade. And sometimes I'd flip my bias and that'd be the worst, right? You'd flip your bias and then you see it go back in your intended direction. You take another loss and you just start chasing it around. Well, you eliminate the chase with GT if you set a, you know, a, a little break, you know, a, a mandatory break after taking a loss. That's something that will trigger you, right? Or something. Uh, you can also, like I was saying earlier, you could put the size limit. I think this is what has really helped me to keep my accounts 
uh, from not blowing up as much. I think the GAT really has greatly reduced my blow-up rate. Um, and, yeah, so just, I can hold, I had a, a trading day, it was a Thursday or Friday, where I came really close to my GAT stop out on the day, which was 1200 bucks. And then uh, the bond auction came in and it saved me. I was just like 200 bucks away. And I was I was going to accept it. It was like $900 in the red. But uh, it just ripped right up and it turned out to be a fantastic winning trade. <laughs> just, uh, I was, you know, just going to accept one of my accounts. I was about to hit the, the red day on the GAT, but it ripped right up. But the whole time, I was not worrying about whether it's going to crash even further and call me, cause me to have a blow-up day or get close to having a blow-up day. You know, cause, just because I got this thing, uh, the software, that it's protecting me, right? I you know the big uh, institutions and, you know, SMB Capital and all these other companies and, you know, banks, they use software to protect their traders that work for them and themselves. Why not? Us retailers, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's one bad thing about Guardian Angel Trader. And, uh, okay, so I will show you here. I'll zoom in a little bit. One bad thing. All right, there's one thing that GAT is not good at, and that sometimes you can't take your good, bad money. What do I mean? What do I mean by good bad money? Okay. You can't hold a $2,000 plus loser and watch it come all the way back to break even and then turn it into profit. That's what I call good bad money. You know, where you just have that bad habit of holding that loser, holding that loser. It comes to within a few hundred dollars of maybe blowing up your account, but then it just you get you get the bounce that you, maybe you were looking at and you held and hoped and it the strategy paid off and you turned it into profit well from my experience i would have that happen often but eventually that strategy inevitably turns out to always be a blow up day somewhere down the road and i've had it happen to where um, last year i had five accounts over the safety net, it was about to pull 10k out, and it was on day nine. The next day, I was just gonna put in a um, a request to uh, you know get 10k payout, but um, yeah, I blew it up because I had let that bad habit hold and hope strategy try to you know not, it not let me lose my payouts. Well, I ended up taking a loss. I didn't let it blow up in one day. I was like, you know what, we're going to call it a day here. I'll try to get it back. But I didn't get it back. And have, had I just had a $1,000 red day on all those, even then that's kind of risking you know, a lot. But I'm okay with the $1,000 red day most of the time. As you saw in my pictures, you know, in my, I can bounce back from some, you know, can bounce back. <laughs> Many bounce backs. You know, you just clear your head. You can't trade anymore. If you hit the red day... And you just put those red accounts on hold and wait for a good setup. It seems to be working for me. And you just don't stay in revenge mode. You wait for them to come back. And you get your money back, right? You chip away at your losses. Maybe you put your GAT on some limited risk so you don't, you know, try to FOMO or revenge it back. You don't you don't want to go back and put five minis on right when you wanna get back your thousand dollar red day. So sometimes I'll just put two too many restriction or even just one mini or I'll just go to the micros and just try to get a few hundred bucks. And then if I see a winner there, maybe I'll put on a, a, a one mini or two mini. But I try not to just revenge it back with big size. So I no longer have those holding, you know, in, in the past, uh, I would have those be within a few hundred bucks of blowing up and then I might get lucky and whew, I got my, I got my money back. Like, but I was saying, those always end up turning out to be blow-up days. And I, don't, I no longer have to worry about that. So I have eliminated that bad habit. And those days eventually catch up to you. You know, they always did for me. And that was really uh, painful when they caught up to me on a day nine when I could have took a 10K payout. That's what really inspired me to get this bomb-proof discipline 
whole thing here with the guardian angel trader and it has really been helpful it put me put my mind at ease really with trading so yeah um just wanted to share this little update with you guys and some of my good convos that we have here on a regular um yeah that's it guys i will um see you on the streams or in another video later and have a good rest of your weekend.